Good morning, guys. It's very cold here this morning, and I want to talk to you guys about something that's actually really scary that happened on TikTok. And this has been unfolding for a while, but I've been kind of like sitting on the sidelines taking things in. And Alicia Doherty needs to take notes. She needs to take notes and take them thoroughly when it comes to this situation. Now, y'all know that I harp on internet safety all the time. I try to be as safe as I possibly can because I never want to be someone who is a hypocrite where I'm preaching about something that I'm doing myself because that is, like I said, being a hypocrite. I think all of us have been a hypocrite, you know, once in a while unintentionally, but I try to make a constant effort to only really harp about stuff that I'm not doing myself is, is the thing that I'm trying to say here. Over on TikTok, y'all know I don't upload anything over there, but I do have an, uh, I do have a page where I take in stuff. Like I, I use it to watch TikToks and sometimes I'll use the sounds and put the video on my Instagram story, but I don't upload to TikTok. I just spend time on the app like a lot of other people do. There's, there's a creator over on TikTok. His username is It's Rome Baby. And I'll throw his page right here. He has a big following. So some of y'all might have seen him on your For You page, or maybe you even follow him. But he has a really big presence on the app, lots of fans, and essentially his content is dancing by himself or a lot of times dancing with his parents and his mom either still does some work as a detective or she is a former detective some kind of role within um, the police department and I'm not sure what his dad does but his parents are um, you know along for the ride with him they do dances, they do trends, it's all good. Well, a couple months ago, actually a few months ago now, in late July, he uploaded some videos that I came across talking about his stalker. And this girl that was stalking him and was this like super fan kind of thing where she showed up to the tattoo shop where he gets tattooed um, he's someone who has gotten, you know, someone could say the same about me, lots of tattoos in a short period of time. So he was spending a lot of time at this tattoo shop. Well, she went to this tattoo shop and was basically asking for Rome and his tattoo artist ended up alerting him that, Hey, this girl, her name is Jade showed up here and was looking for you. Y'all, right now I am absolutely tripping. I got an actual stalker. Like, no, hold on, hold on. Like, I, I wish I could un like make y'all understand how weird this is. Like, this does not make any sense. Yo, I'm tripping right now. So yesterday, I'm gonna tell you the story. Yesterday, I get a text from my tattoo artist and he's like, yo, Rome, what are you doing? Call me ASAP. I'm not really thinking anything of it, but then after that, I get a text like 30 minutes later. He's like, there's this girl looking for you. She's here and she's looking for you. What? I'm tripping because shouldn't nobody be looking for me. I kind of let it go over my head, it's whatever. But today, my mom calls me randomly at like three o'clock in the afternoon. And she sounds like really nervous on the phone. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. She's like, Rome, Rome, like stop everything that you're doing and pay attention to me completely. So in my mind, something is going down, like something's about to go down. But she's like, we're standing outside and we see this girl outside in our driveway. There's a girl standing in our driveway and she's wearing a dress, a hat, and she has like a Bible or a book in her hand. That is creepy in its own way right there. My dad, dead serious, he thought it was a ghost and he was tripping. He goes outside and he walks out there and he's like, excuse me. And she's like, yes. And he says, are you lost? Is there anything that I can help you with? And she says, yeah, I'm looking for Rome. My dad's like, well, he's not here. He doesn't live here. She says, you're lying. He said, 
what do you mean I'm lying? No, he doesn't live here. He lives with his girlfriend. And she said, no, you're lying. He doesn't even have a girlfriend. We've been dating for two years. We've been in a committed relationship for two years. And he said, no, he's dating this girl named Destiny. He lives with her. And he said, no, no, he doesn't. He does not live with no girl named Destiny. That's his sister. <laughs> I'm tripping whenever I'm hearing this. I'm like, wait, what? This is crazy. So my mom starts finding out information on this girl. She wanted to like ask her questions. Mind you, my dad had a weapon behind him. I'm not going to tell you what weapon. He just had a weapon behind him ready because this girl seemed really off. Like the things that she was saying was very sketch and it didn't sound right at all. And the worst part about it is there is no reason that this girl should be pulling up to my house. No one knows where I live at all. And then I find out she's not even from here. She is from Massachusetts and flew here for her birthday. Why for her birthday, you might ask? Well, it's because she thinks that we're dating and she says that I missed her birthday. She told that to my tattoo artist. I'm gonna get into that because I talked to him today too because I wanted to find out more information on what is even going on. But she flew from Massachusetts to stay here for a week just to see me, try to find me. She went around my city walking to find me. She doesn't have a car, she Ubered. I'm tripping right now. The craziest part about it is she set up a tattoo appointment with my tattoo artist and that's how she got in with him. Like that's how she wanted to find out my information. Dude, all right, we gonna keep this going into part two, but let me stress that this is super serious. Like I'm laughing, but the only reason I'm laughing is because I just take trauma and I laugh. Like whenever I got my tattoos, whenever I get in a lot of pain, I laugh. I don't know why it's weird, but that's just me, I'm sorry. So I've gotten a lot of information over the past two days. I've talked to my tattoo artist, I've talked to my mom. My mom is the one that called me today telling me that the stalker was at our house, okay? But we gonna get back to that. I'm gonna tell you about what happened with my tattoo artist. So she set up an appointment with this man. Mind you, I post where I get my tattoos kind of like on Instagram and stuff like that. It's super casual because I want people to know who does my work because he does good work. So with that being said, it's awfully easy to find out who my tattoo artist is and where they're at, I guess, you know? Well, she set up her appointment while she was still in her other state, Massachusetts. I live in Tennessee, okay? So she flew from Massachusetts to Tennessee this week went showed up to her appointment but didn't want a tattoo he said hey nice to meet you uh you ready to get this work so what do you what do you plan on getting done she looks up with a straight face and says where's rome he said wait what uh are you not planning on getting she said no where's rome i need to see rome call him give me his number call him real quick call him and tell him to pull up so i can see him like he hasn't even seen me it's my birthday when i'm hearing all this i'm tripping i'm like yo why would i know anything about this girl's birthday she thinks she wanted to come down here because I missed her birthday and she wanted to spend all week with me. First off, I know it sounds like she might have got catfished. That's not the case because she also thinks that we have five to six kids together that God sent her in her stomach as a blessing for us. Hold up. What? Yo, I'm tripping. Mind you, this is what she told my mother. Okay, I'm going to tell you why she told my mom this because my mom wanted to find out more information on this girl. Mind you, my mom did call the police. She called the police. They escorted her off the premises. They only charged her with trespassing, which isn't a charge. They just put you in the police car and get you off the premises. That's all it is. It's not a charge. You don't get a misdemeanor, nothing. Not in the state of Tennessee. So this girl is currently in my town. Don't know where. But she's still here, though. She's still here. So I got to be on my P's and Q's. For real. Not even capping. Like, real talk. But like I was saying, before the police even got there, my mom went out of her way to ask these questions. And she said, so what's going on? Like, uh, how do you know Jerome? You know Jerome isn't even here right he was like he, he leaves for orlando tomorrow so like why would you be here and she was like oh i know mind you that was a bold-faced lie i'm not going to orlando so she was just seeing what this girl actually knew she was like yeah he told me that he's going to orlando tomorrow i was still gonna see him so now mom knows that she's definitely tripping and the whole time that mom's asking these questions and she's trying to find out about this girl dad's standing right behind her having her back and by about that time the police pull up but they did not understand the totality of this situation. Like, this is serious business. They just thought it was a random girl pulling up. This is literally someone that thinks that we have kids together from God. Like, come on. This girl has come out with all kinds of crazy claims. She claims that they have a child together. She claims that, like, you know, they're in this serious relationship, even though he says that they're not. And she's just um, a, a fan who is... Ob clearly obsessed with him so she's she has said a lot of things but the worst thing that she did was showing up to his house 
now I've seen some people, of course, with the internet, you have people on both sides of the aisle. You have some people saying, oh, well, you know, he films outside of his house sometimes and you shouldn't do that. I'm not here to victim blame, okay? Just because you choose to show the outside of your house, that does not give someone the right to show up uninvited because they have created this parasocial relationship with you where they feel so welcome to show up at your private residence. And I would say the same exact thing if it was Alicia Doherty. And I said the same thing when they were at the beach and she was showing their rental. I said, that's a terrible idea. But the kids that were showing up there to make TikToks with the Doherty kids, they were also not in the right. Do I think that when situations like this happen, it should be a warning to creators to be safer and not show your house and, you know, just be a little more cautious with how you move around online? Yes, I do. But... I'm not going to come out and just put all the blame on the YouTuber or the TikToker or the influencer or whoever it is. I I'm not going to put all the blame on them. But I'm going to play you guys a couple of videos because when she showed up to Rome's house, when Jade showed up to Rome's house, His mother had a conversation with her. And keep in mind that his mother is someone who has experience as a law enforcement professional. My wife, but I don't want to turn my back on you because I don't trust you. Oh, I understand. Do you I, really? I was afraid to show, like I said, it's a state You should have been, it should have been because we have guns everywhere. <laughs> you should have been afraid to show up. But I just need to, That's the only reason why I was like, like we're scared for our life because yeah, we don't know you. You're a stranger to us. I know you say you're with Rome and that y'all have children together and y'all been together. I just have never met you. If I had known about you, it would have been different, but Rome's very private. So it doesn't mean that your love isn't real. It just means he hasn't advised me of that. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, that's my concern. Like, I didn't know. And you're telling me you know that he's with a girl named Destiny Jones and that's fake and he's not really with her. That's all I know. Like, that's that's all that I know. Do you know if he has other children? No, he doesn't have any children. He doesn't have any children? No. So his mom definitely knew how to speak to her, how to talk to her, how to engage in conversation in order to get information to essentially build a case against her. So good on his mom for being able to carry the conversation so that it was a productive one instead of just being like, oh, you're crazy, get out of here. She definitely did the right thing as far as the things that she was saying in order to be able to go to police and actually have some really valuable information that she could use to build a case. Now, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this. The last video that I saw was one of their interactions together. Now, Rome has addressed this. Look, y'all kept asking for a stalker okay. update, and somebody, this literally, I just got tagged in this last night, and y'all just got to watch it. This is my stalker. This is her at my house. She was videoing the whole time, y'all. Okay. You've been following him for a long time, though. I remember. Okay. Of course mom remember. Look, mom remembers because she was talking reckless at the beginning of this. I do. I remember you. You commented on a few different videos. Mm -hmm. And you actually commented to Destiny. She did. Look, Destiny is my ex. And she was talking reckless to her. Like, telling her that she ain't going to be with me. That she just uh, I do. I a piece of meat. Like, oh my gosh, just talking crazy, yo. Um, LOL, what did I do? 
Of course that's what she said, dude. She was hurt because this girl was talking crazy reckless to her. Look, y'all just gotta watch the rest of these videos and be prepared my mom is lying, but she was just trying to keep me protected, all right? Just, just watch them. What I think Rome is doing is trying to stay cool, calm, and collected and kind of approach this like, oh wow, like this is so crazy. But let's be honest, guys, like to have a stalker is very scary. Like to have someone who is not only obsessed with you, but also knows where your parents live, knows where you, you know, the town that you live in, knows kind of the places that you frequent is extremely alarming. And so as I usually do, I have been thinking about this and how it relates to what I cover on my channel and what I've been covering for a very long time now, and that is family vloggers. How does this relate to mommy vloggers and family vloggers and specifically people that overshare like the Doherty's, like the Ace family, like the Sacconi Jolies? These families who show the outside of their house, show the new house tours, the LeBrands, there's another one. These families that just completely remove the veil of privacy as to where they live and the places that they frequent, The fact that you're so okay with doing that and you have children that are counting on you for protection is what really gets me. There's no reason that a child should have to feel unsafe or feel like someone could show up to their house, you know, un unannounced or pop up at their school with no notice. All because the parents decided to put their lives on social media is not fair and i know some people could say oh well life isn't fair i disagree with having that stance when you're dealing with children when you're dealing with an adult sure life isn't fair because we can reconcile things we can kind of start to figure out as we get older okay well this person might be dealing with that that person might be you know having an off day because i know i've had an off day we just know how to take a look at other people's emotions and be able to kind of figure out like what's going on. Kids are so innocent. They don't they they don't know how to tell the difference between someone who is obsessed and someone who might have mental health issues that they're dealing with. Or maybe it's a little bit of both. In my opinion, children should not have to deal with these kinds of things all because their parents wanted social media to be a full-time gig for them and in my opinion it shouldn't even take a situation like what happened with rome for alicia to be able to single out these weird obsessed fans that she has and make some changes to her content and make changes to what she shares and what she keeps private. It shouldn't take something bad happening to someone else for you to want to protect your kids. You have these obsessed stands who, how long have I been talking about Auntie Lauren? I discovered Auntie Lauren like the second or third video I did on the Doherty's and I started covering Alicia on May 1st of this year. And I had kind of been, you know, doing some homework on her the week leading up to my first video. Um, so I've been aware of the Doherty's since April and I discovered Auntie Lauren very soon after starting to cover them. I've, I've received information too about the way that Auntie Lauren acts kind of behind the scenes and I have to say allegedly because I don't know for certain but the way she acts publicly is pretty much the same how she acts 
behind the scenes. But she is very obsessed with having to be the first person to watch the Doherty video and, you know, up at all hours of the night, kind of answering comments on behalf of Alicia and further spreading information about these children to the new followers who have questions. Lauren is there to answer it. She knows way too much about these kids. She contributes to the oversharing of their information and she is one of a few who are literally drooling over the next video that Alicia is going to put out and just overly excited and I don't understand it in my opinion nothing that Alicia Doherty is putting out is noteworthy. It's not new. It's not different. It's just recycled content. And to be fully well aware that these people who are obsessed with your kids know where they go to school. They know their favorite movie. They know their favorite uh, candy. They know their favorite color. All of these kinds of things, you're literally asking for something bad to happen and I just wish that she would reel it in before it's too late. I'm not ever going to fully um, blame the family vlogger because the blame goes on both sides. But the amount of oversharing that Alicia has done is literally asking for something bad to happen. When you're doing all of that, and, and the thing with Rome is that he didn't even overshare to the amount that I see with a lot of the family vloggers. He wasn't out here laughing at the fact that his address is on Google. So I guess that's the part too that I kind of think like, if it happened to him, it can happen to anyone. And when there's kids in the house, that matters. And that shouldn't, there shouldn't be an expectation of silence when it comes to situations like this. Because these are like the root of issues with family vloggers. It's the safety of the kids and their information being put out to the point where it can and probably will affect them once they're off to college and for years after because it's been out there for 18 years because of their parents. So either way, he has a stalker. I hope that he's okay. I hope that this is not um, you know, negatively impacting him as far as mentally. I'm sure that it's stressful. I'm sure it's stressful for his parents. I'm glad that his mom is someone who is experienced in, you know, knowing kind of how to collect this information so that it can be presented to law enforcement. But it sucks that this even has happened. But these people just become overly invested and it's not a badge of honor. It's not a badge of honor to know all of this information about someone that you follow on social media. It's not um, some kind of like cool kids club where you know more info than someone else does. It's very weird and I'm not here to co-sign it. Um, you know, if, if you are a YouTuber, stay safe, try to stay safe. It's just a really wild, wild situation. And as soon as I saw everything unfolding with Rome, I automatically thought of Alicia and a lot of other family vloggers as well. But especially with her, like it's so easy to access her house. And most people, you know, if they wanted to, they could figure out the layout of her house because of the house tours that she's done. They know what kid sleeps where and man, you're opening your family to a, a whole just can of worms that is full of toxicity and danger.
and that's not okay. So that's how I feel about this situation. Um, really, really wild. So tell me how you guys feel for now. If you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.